Hello everybody, welcome back to another mid-journey tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to take your prompts and get 10 times better at it, maybe even more. I know that's a big statement, but let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, if I'm inside mid-journey like I am here, everybody knows that mid-journey is text-based. The prompting is text-based. If I want a dog reading a book, I just type in dog reading a book with blue, with a blue sun maybe, and you know, I mean red red pages you just you can just do whatever you want right but here's the thing i don't know what i'm going to get and because mid journey you get some free stuff but you know you pay for it and you get a certain number of fast hours you often have to re-roll or you know make variations and it can very quickly eat up your um your fast hours and your time and your money so let me show you a way to increase your prompting skill quickly so i'm going to go to google chrome and before you say anything, I know I'm in Leonardo.ai. This is a new app that's out. Here's what's, what the new apps are doing. They've got a UI and a UX. So what I'm talking about here is when I log into this one, I look at this one here called Luna. This is a model. When I click on it, I know that it uses Stable Diffusion 2.1 and that if I use this model, literally I click Generate with this model, I know that I'm going to get images that look a lot like this. It's visual. You know what you're getting within reason. In mid-journey, you don't always know. So what's the what's the answer? Noonshot. Here it is right here. If you use this program, you can go dog reading a book. So you just type your prompt into here. And do note, you can use prompt weights and text weights if you really know what you're doing. But this is where it gets good. You can select styles and you can select lighting and camera. So let me do it with you. So here, you'll see here that it's building the prompt out for me as I go. I click on styles and I get to look at all these different styles. I get an idea of what I'm getting. If I want a blueprint drawing, for example, I click on it and I can adjust the weight if I really want it to be important or less important. And I just click continue. And look at that. It adds it to the prompt for me. If I want a different type of lighting, maybe I want concert lighting for whatever reason. Go nuts. Flip through here. See what works for you. Click continue. And you can do this all the way through this. If you want a spe specific artist, Caravaggio, it's a soft G, for example. Okay, good. I've got a dog reading a book in a blueprint drawing with concert lighting with Caravaggio as the artist for inspiration. Something crazy like that. You can go through it. You can pick your color palette. Uh, I try not to go too much into this because if you use too many prompts, it, you can get a pretty messy output. But again, pick the ones that matter to you if you want depth of field, if you want a little bit of blur in there, if you want to stylize it, if you want specific colors. Let's just go with this. I'm going to copy the prompt. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to go over here to Discord. And then actually, I'm going to delete that. And then I'm just going to hit Command V because I'm on a Mac. Control V if you're on a PC. It's automatic copied. It even knows to type in the forward slash imagine. And then it's going to cook something up for me. And I'm going to come back when it's done. All right, welcome back. And here's the first crack at it. It's not going to win an award, don't get me wrong, but it did an okay job in two of the four. So if I click on it here, we've got this dog here reading a book. Looks pretty good, although his paw might need a little work. Uh, you know what? It's got the Caravaggio style. Caravaggio was known for his use of shadows and chiaroscuro. I don't know how to pronounce that. Please correct me in the comments. Um, you know what? It's not super blueprinty, but it has the concert lighting. It looks like it's lit from the bottom up. This one here also has a unique lighting style, but it's got a person reading the book. Um, again, you guys can try out that tool. Dial in your prompts, save yourself some money, save some time. That's how you use Noonshot. Thanks for watching.